I have a few questions for you. <laughs> if you would uh, like to tell me, uh, what are we going to do in these troubled times? How are we going to provide for a future? <laughs> There's lots of uh, <laughs> you know, pick your nose and talk into my mic. You know, I have a pilot demonstrations yeah. that uh, sure we're, a lot of us are in agreement yeah. on uh, not big capitalization and not big development and stuff like that. But we need to use really respectful and dignified manners of reaching our goals. Who's that? All day yesterday. Uh, well, I thought you'd walk in. The surprise is hell. Because <laughs> so I could set up a table for my uh, my jewelry here. But well, how do you? Yeah. Excellent. It's nice to get the idea we're not just a bunch of radical whatever. Uh, yeah, but we're here, but what are we doing here? I mean, what are we tolerating? What are we looking after? We didn't look after the fish in the East Coast, and now they're destroying them in the West Coast. Make a statement. Uh, I'm not really good for statements today, <laughs> believe me. No, but you do know, you know. You have oh, I understand. I've been, I've been working with the, with the clear cutting here in this province for many years, and there seems... Uh, oh. What to say? Hmm. As I said, I'm not particularly good with statements today. Yeah. <laughs> but you are. Good. What do we really want to do here? What do we want to do? We want to preserve the community. We want to preserve these islands as is. is well, what would be the point? Um, we want to preserve the natural beauty of these islands and the beauty of our communities and pass that down to our future children. If these corporations keep logging it without even any asking for any input into the communities and most of these logging corporations have no um, um, will we be uh, interaction with our communities they don't even ask for to find out no, we will have nothing left to hand down to our children or the com uh, community's future totally that's why we have to act now we have to move we have to do something it will not it will be irre irre irreversible harm will be done if these actions committed by these corporations are allowed to transpire and uh, once that is gone, we will, we will be left with the bones. And even if uh, they do develop it, I can't see of the developing, any development being sustained over a period of time. And there's been other examples upon this island where uh, developers have tried to develop an area only to go bust. But what does this mean to us when we're just left with a barren wasteland? What do you think the natives' position on this is when they see what's happening to this land and to the resources? And I mean, what's their perspective on this? What do you think, in your mind? Ooh, well, uh, one of um, great deep frustration, I would say. I've seen many of the native um, tribal villages up along the west coast of Vancouver Island completely destroyed and uh, laid to waste by by interference from. Uh, what we might call the white man or corporate uh, entrepreneurism uh, with very little respect. They've been cheated out of just about everything mm -hmm. they, they could, you could possibly imagine. Yeah, do you think the land is cursed because of this, uh, what they, what's Definitely been done to it? Absolutely cursed. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I believe there's a very powerful spirit on this island and I believe that even if they do clear cut all this, they will not be allowed to develop it. Nothing, there's no future in it at all.